Hi, my name is Samantha. And I'm Audrey. Welcome to Cartier's My Podcast. It's time to spill some tea. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom. Hello. Um, today we have Miss Lee. Miss Lee, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lee. I teach seventh grade math at Car Intermediate. This is probably my 16 year teaching at Car, and um, I love teaching here. You guys are students at Car, are awesome. <laughs> Miss Lee, why did you choose teaching as a career path? I actually kind of got it into, I actually was actually pre pharmacy at one time in college, and I really didn't care too much for the chemistry part of it, but I love the biology part of it. So I graduated as a bio major with a minor in mathematics. And so um, I kind of fell into it, I actually tutored. Um, I got hired on my first year at a private school and actually really loved it. So that's how I kind of got into teaching. What's your favorite thing about teaching? Say that again? What's your favorite thing about teaching? Teaching, probably um, you guys, the students. I really enjoy hanging out with the youth. You guys are like really good group and it's always a happy to see like students who are happy and it's kind of cool to see you guys learn something new and it kind of sparks up in your brain and kind of go, ooh, I understood that topic, you know? And um, to kind of help you pass those struggles as far as learning something new and just to see that you guys understand it at the very end, it's really cool. And I want to make sure you guys further education and you know, kind of have a good life. How do you feel so far about distance slash virtual learning and how has it affected you? Um, distance learning, it was definitely a struggle at the very beginning because, you know, everything was so new to everyone, the teachers and the students. And I think it was a transitional period as far as, I mean, the first two weeks was just like trying to get um, everybody back online, understanding how to get on Zoom and trying to figure out how does it work and everything. So I think the first week was a struggle, but I think now since we've been on it for like almost two, two and a half months, I think everybody's transitioning in. It is kind of different. I mean, definitely I know that I miss you guys being in my classroom, students as far as, you know, just interaction. But at the same time, you know, I always think this is not permanent. This is, you know, this is something temporary. And I think you have to just really super be positive about it. The fact that you guys are still learning, but it is virtual learning, you know. It's just almost like if you're taking an online class, you gotta think, okay, some schools are going online. Some people love online. Because there is a discrepancy of like not having disruptions, I would say. You know, it's direct instruction and you're not, like there's a kid being a fun classroom, you guys know them all, you know. They're not distracting from learning because you're at home, right? And um, the only thing I kind of, I think everybody misses the fact just the interaction. Like the, the thing is that if we go back, if we go back on like um, hybrid, I'm going to say, I don't think it's going to be that great because of the fact that, remember, we're still during COVID, so... Um, it's not like where you guys can like hang out, hug your friends and have interaction, you know, it's going to, it's going to not be the same, you know, I rather just wait and be safe for everyone and then come back when we know that, you know, we're not going to affect anybody, you know, because, you know, normally I wear the mask, right? Not for myself, but really for other people. So just to protect everybody, you know, in general. And plus, you know, we have grandparents that wouldn't protect me thing. So I think the online thing is, um, it's not but it's not the worst either. I mean, it's just a different way of learning. And I think you just have to transition into it. So um, I think it's fine. I mean, I don't have any qualms with it. You know, it is kind of different being in a classroom, like all by myself on a video, but I do have four monitors on. So I do see everyone. And it's so nice to see my Audrey and Samantha <laughs> during an interview. Um, which do you prefer? Do you prefer um, being there in person or virtual? Um, I definitely, as a teacher, I love being like in the classroom instead of online because of the fact that I like to see you guys um, in the classroom. So if I can help you, it's easier for me to manage the classroom when you're in the classroom, obviously, because the fact that if I have a student that's super quiet or super shy, which a lot of kids are in seventh grade and eighth grade, obviously, it's hard for me to look at to see your work as a fact that a lot of you guys don't want to go on camera because you're a little bit shy, you know, all I see is the name sometimes. And so I don't know if you're struggling on paper, at least with math, but if I, in a classroom, I can walk around, you know what I'm saying? And I can go behind you and kind of go, okay, you know, that's probably wrong. Let me help you with that, you know? And being in middle school, a lot of you guys are still that shy kind of, 
you're not really um, open about you guys. Some of you guys feel more comfortable with me, so you're able to raise your hand and ask me questions. And some students just aren't, you know. So I think it's really helpful um, if you're in classroom and I can easily see if you're struggling, if I'm walking around. Or sometimes you guys feel a little more comfortable just walking up to me, you know what I'm saying, and then asking me questions like you guys did last year. So I think, yeah, definitely being in the classroom is a lot better, I think, easier to manage her to, than to be online. Because it's hard for me to see what you're struggling, you know, especially when you don't understand anything and you don't want to say anything because you're kind of embarrassed. So it is a little bit more challenging. What motivates you to work hard? What motivates me to work hard? I think it is just something that's instilled in me. You know, I kind of grew up with my parents saying that, you know, you got to be a go-getter. Nothing's going to be handed to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, I think the majority of us were, we didn't grow up rich. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we have parents who are going to be like, hey, you know, if you don't make it, you know, here, here's a brand new car. You know, here's your, you can live here forever. It's more like if you want to travel, you know, which I think a lot of people do, if you want to go somewhere and own your own car with your own money, you have to work for it, you know, so my motivation is to growing up, you know, it's, you're, you have to be self-sufficient. You have to like do it on your own. I mean, your parents and your loved ones always support you, but at the same time, you have to be the, like the light under yourself. You know, you have to be self-motivated and kind of go, I want to do this for myself. I do want to make my parents proud, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Cause they love me and I want to make sure that, you know, I don't become this like person who depends on them for the rest of life. You know, you guys are still okay because you're still young. You know what I'm saying? But you're like, when you're an adult, you want to make sure that you're self-sufficient. You're an independent person, you know? And you kind of want to give back to your parents one day because they support you, love you all this whole time. And you want to be able to be, when you're older, you know, buy something for your parents and support them one day. Because they supported you, Leo, almost 18 years of your life before you go to college. What advice would you give to someone wanting to pursue your type of career? Um, to be a teacher, I think you really have to love what you do, right? Um, I think as a teacher, you have to really enjoy students, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be working them 24 hours a day, pretty much, you know, your whole life. So you have to really enjoy being around other people um, and really understanding, trying to understand where they're coming from and really want to help somebody else, like, you know, help them learn a material or a system and just like understand, trying to get them out of their, um, kind of like their bubble, you know, make them feel a little uncomfortable because usually when you guys understand something, you guys feel super uncomfortable. You're like, oh, I don't want to ask the teacher, you know, um, I don't want to be wrong, but um, as a teacher that really want you to, you know, trying to like find your voice kind of and kind of like ask questions and, you know, I mean, be polite about it, obviously, you know, but try to find that little inner voice kind of go, okay, you know, um, if you're gonna go in this field of teaching, you want to make sure that you're able to, or want to, you know, really want to motivate students to learn, you know, in their own way, you know, try to figure out like what they know and what they don't know and try to probably help them out. But yeah, I think you have to draw, you have to have a drive to really want to work with, um, you know, students, you know, you can't be like, okay, I think this is something I want to drop off on. It's, it's something that I think a lot of teachers have is the fact that we really want to work with the youth. We want to see you guys achieve and just really have a heart of like really wanting you guys to do well for yourself, you know, and we, and we want to see you shine. <laughs> we really do. We want to see you guys, you know, come back, you know, and say, you know, oh yeah, you know, we went to the four-year college, we got to the college we want, you know what I'm saying? We got into the high school that we wanted, you know, we were able to become um, a teacher, a nurse, anything we wanted to become because the fact that, you know, we had the skills or, you know, we were motivated by something in our school or something outside and to want to give you the tools to do what you want to do in life. I think that's a major thing is that to be a teacher, you, you got to have that little bit inside of you kind of like, you know, I kind of want to help, but, and how do I go about doing that? You know, not be like, okay, I just want to become a teacher because I guess I can. Um, you've had a lot of successes, but what is one failure that happened to you and you've learned from? Um, probably as a, I don't know, like as teaching or like an individual? Both. Both, okay. Probably as a teacher, I think that um, as a failure, I'm gonna say that um, sometimes I, I, I think I'm over ambitious with you guys as far as work. Like, so I'm like, hey, you guys can go this far. And I try to push you as much as I can. And sometimes like, I forget that you guys are only in middle school. You know, you're not like an adult yet. And sometimes I'm like, come on, you can do that. And I have to 
take a step back a couple times and I'm like, oh, okay, that didn't really work well on a lesson because the fact that I kind of overextended, I had to like take a step back because I'm always thinking that you guys are my smartest, my brightest, you know, and take a step back. You guys are still, but I have to make sure I, I have to slow the material for you guys, you know, and not overwhelm you and everything. So I think that's always been kind of a failure to me as far as teaching. I have to like really watch like how far I, how far I push you guys so that you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Like I'm completely lost. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm able to like, um, let me see, be able to kind of help you guys out, but not push you to the point of a breaking point where you're like crying because this math problem is so hard and I, you have no idea what you're doing. Okay. Um, as far as our personal, I don't know. I've been pretty happy. I don't, I don't see a lot of great failures in my life. I think uh, any kind of failures or mistake is a learning experience for me. So I don't consider them failures. Like, you know, you want to tell you guys about math problems or anything, your, your mistakes is still a learning process. You know what I'm saying? So any failures I really feel like I have, um, I can always consider it a learning experience, not a, a true failure. Um, that concludes our interview. Ms. Lee, do you have any last words? Um, no, not really. Well, okay. I hope you guys have an awesome school year. I love seeing my little middle school students and everything. I hope you guys are going to have a good year and hopefully you guys are, stay safe and um, just stay really happy. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, you guys are all loved by all the core teachers. You guys are awesome students and everything. And I want you guys to always, you know, think of yourself as, you know, as a good kid and we're all doing this together as a group you're not by yourself if you get any student to feel ever lonely or they're by themselves you know you guys have a lot of people who love you who care about you who want you to be successful thank you miss lee for joining us today miss lee okay have a good one guys we'll see you later